2015's Jurassic World is about this amusement park, also called Jurassic World, in which a few of the scientists created a hybrid dinosaur, which then wreaks havoc on this amusement park. For me, when I bought uh, Jurassic World on Blu-ray, this was actually a blind buy. I bought it like the Tuesday it came out on Blu-ray. I didn't see this movie in theaters. Um, I'm just like, I don't care. I really want to see this movie. I'm going to pay $25 for it. And I'm glad I did that because this actually, it isn't that bad of a movie. For starters, I think this movie has the greatest visual effects, you know, from any Jurassic Park film. Granted, the special effects probably looked a lot better back in the Jurassic Park time when the first movie came out, but this just looks amazing on Blu-ray. It looks astounding on Blu-ray um, on my big screen, and it just looks really cool. We also get some really great acting from Bryce Dallas Howard as well as Chris Pratt, which I find him really enjoyable. Pretty much in any movie he's in, I love his presence uh, in any movie he's in, and once again, he was pretty enjoyable in this movie, very likable guy, um, and I also liked Bryce Dallas Howard's character as well. This is also a movie that kept me interested the entire two-hour runtime, which I'm very uh, impressed by. Uh, some films do that, some films don't, um, but this one really kept me interested. Um, but like I said, some films don't keep me interested. And it's, and it's just a movie that you can just sit down and you can have fun with. It's, it's a lot of fun to watch, I will say that. And we did some really, really cool action scenes, especially towards the end of the movie. Some really cool action scenes between, you know, dinosaurs and between, you know, man versus dinosaur and whatever. Some really cool action scenes as well. But this movie isn't perfect. For starters, um, a lot of stuff doesn't make sense. For starters, Bryce Dallas Howard's character, Claire, you know, knows realizes that the dinosaur escaped and um, she she's like I she's like I gotta call the people uh, you know back at headquarters they gotta fi figure this out or whatever and then she gets in a car drives towards the headquarters as she's calling them she could have just stayed there I don't know but stuff like that just doesn't make any sense I think there's just one too many subplots there's you know, a story arc between Claire and the younger boy's mother and, you know, the nanny and the younger brothers and the younger brothers doing their own thing, Owen's doing his own thing. There's just a lot of subplots that go on that I just can't really, I can't really, you know, keep track of. But it all kind of coerces together uh, in the last hour of the movie, you know, which, you know, improved it. But like I said, there's just... There's just a lot of subplots that goes on throughout this movie. Like I said, this movie's very enjoyable. It does have a few flaws, but I do have a lot of fun watching uh, this movie. I'm going to give Jurassic World 8.5 out of 10. Perfectly enjoyable movie. I definitely do enjoy this. Um, if you didn't like it the first time, I suggest giving it a rewatch. And just, and just have fun with it. Don't critique it. Uh, just have fun watching the movie. Alright guys, that's it for my Jurassic Park uh, series review. I might have a ranking... I'm not sure. There's only four films, uh, so there's not much ranking to it, but um, maybe we'll see. Uh, if you guys want it, if you guys want Jurassic Park uh, franchise ranking, leave a comment down below um, so that I can know if you guys want it. Um, and now I'm going to be watching all of the uh, Christopher Nolan movies I own. Uh, I already said this in my previous review. Uh, the Dark Knight trilogy, as well as Inception and Interstellar, I'm going to spend one night each week uh, throughout the week uh, to watch those movies in preparation for Dunkirk. Uh, I'm going to be seeing that this weekend, and yeah, that's it for this video. See you guys next time.